G'day everybody. Hello. Welcome to another episode of Pacific Trek and this is our last in the series of 30 days across America. Yeah, I, I get a bit emotional as um, I'm making the move. Mm, we, You'll see some of those clips. We're going to be flying from Los Angeles to Melbourne. Mm. And we, that's our last day, and very last day in Los Angeles. Yeah. So we say goodbye to our Airbnb that we are in LA. We have some food. We make a random quick trip up um, a hill, right? Yeah, and we yeah. get it's our last. Uh, we show you the first week in Australia, so yeah, check it out. Let's get into it now. Hi, I'm Luke, and I'm Danielle, and together we're, we're Pacific, Pacific Trek. Trek, a couple passionate about travel and living life to the full. In 2019, we moved from our home in Jensen Beach, Florida, to Australia. Along the way, we went on a cruise to the Bahamas. And an epic road trip across the U.S. from Miami to Los Angeles. We visited so many awesome places. From the Georgia Aquarium in Atlanta, and to the French Quarter in New Orleans. All the way to the Grand Canyon, and sunset over Santa Monica. We want to take you along for the ride. We're here at Thomas Bradley Terminal at LAX International Airport, waiting for our flight yes. with Virgin Australia to Melbourne. Yeah. This is the end of the farewell tour and marks the beginning of the G'day tour. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. How are you feeling? This is... Good. I, have you been on me this whole time? Yes. Oh, that's embarrassing. Um, I have mixed emotions, I'm excited, I like change, so this is exciting for me, but also I really want to do laundry, <laughs> and it's really hard to say goodbye to my family, and I know I can FaceTime them, call them, it's a bit hard, so what I'm looking forward to is being greeted by Luke's family, which is my family too, but they are making it very lovely for me, so I'm grateful to have awesome in-laws, and yeah, and um, I'm looking forward to celebrating Christmas, because all these travels, it hasn't really felt like Christmas time, even though we've seen lots of Christmas decorations, which has been cool, but it doesn't feel like Christmas, so I can't wait to get settled and to have a good old time, so. You're going to have a new Christmas this year. You're going to have plum pudding? Yeah. Have you had plum pudding before? Yeah. No, I haven't. Trifle? Yes. Pavlova? Yes. You're going to have all that. Yeah, so, and it's going to be interesting um, going into summer, so I have to get all my summer clothes out again. It was crazy. It was like summer, then kind of in between like fall climate and then winter. And then going back to like fall climate and then just to summer this whole trip. So it's been interesting. Kind of been an arc through yes. different seasons. We've left Florida, gone up into the into Tennessee awesome and then back down. Music. <laughs> oh. um, yeah, what are you looking for, honey? How are you feeling? So it's been four and a half years since I've called Australia home. Well, Australia's always been home, but since it's been like my residential address. I'm looking forward to just seeing everybody again and actually to be stationary for a little bit because we've been on the move for- A month. Nearly 30 days. It'll be a month on Sunday. Yeah, when we land, it'll be a month of traveling. So pretty intense. A month. Do you think we've been very blessed? This has been an awesome, awesome, awesome vacation trip. Seeing everybody, 
And it's been an answer to prayer too, hasn't it? Like we prayed yeah. for just provision and everything that we've done and it's just yeah. kind of come through. We didn't know how much it was going to cost to wrap up things in the US, to return yeah. lease vehicles and all that sort of stuff. And we've just had things provided for us all along the way. So it's been really yeah. cool. Praise to God for that. Yeah. We uh, would like to invite you to come and visit us in Australia. If you're ever coming over, let us know. And uh, we'd like to meet you over there start your fun now so we have done our pacific trek or we're about we're still doing our pacific trek but we invite you to do your pacific trek hey, crossover like come visit crossover. us crossover <laughs> come down on Australia style come visit the set of Dundee yeah we'll see you there happy travels <laughs> We flew with Virgin Australia from Los Angeles to Melbourne on their 777 aircraft. Unfortunately, because of COVID-19, Virgin Australia has sold off their 777 aircraft and is no longer running international flights. So what you're seeing may be a thing of the past. Australia. Australia. The G'day tour begins. The G'day tour. I'm still tired. How was that flight? Long flight? It wasn't as bad as the last one. Last one I didn't get any sleep and sleep at all. But this one I was, I slept in three hours and then so I got, I got uh, six hours solid. So, it's pretty good. Yeah. Well, we're here in Melbourne. Journey continues. Oh, I spilled coffee everywhere. Oh yeah, all over That's my leg. All over my leg, all over my pillow, all over my bag. So I smell like coffee. Be careful of your drinks on planes. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're okay. Let's try it out now. Yeah. Onward we go.
Are you? No, I really don't know. <laughs> 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 it wouldn't be funny if it stayed like that. No. It'll, like, it's going away, see? Yeah, it's yeah. going now. Yeah. It's really funny. How cool is that? That is a beautiful bird. What kind of bird is that? There are parrots here? Yeah, yep, there are. Oh, thousands of parrots. Yeah. Hi, little fella. I didn't know you had parrots here. Oh, yeah, there's thousands of parrots in Australia. There are thousands of different types of parrots. Yeah, so they're done? Yeah. Birdies, come to me. Yeah. I don't have a lot, though, in my hand. I shut my hand up like that. <laughs> Look at those claws. Mm -hmm. Hi, little fella. Beautiful. So pretty. Look at that green color. Oh, that's so He just has catch one, a, catch a one, one <laughs> talent on me. You, you hold your hand up. Hold, hold your my hand up. You just move that up slightly. Uh -huh. That's it. And he'll go. Just hold it for a second. There you go. He's trying. Yeah. So I trust you more. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Come on. Come back. Come back. Does this one always come to you? Oh, most of them do. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Let's take your head a little bit further away. Yeah, that's good. You'll go off. Does that one bite me? No. No. Aw, that's I know, okay. They're red spotted. <laughs> <laughs> How cool is that? Oh my goodness! The only, only thing you must do is uh, when you finish wash your hands. Yeah. Um, I can't carry the scissors. Hi. Oh, so I just wash your hands. oh my goodness, you're so pretty. It's your first wildlife experience in Australia, honey. This trip. And not at a zoo. Not at a zoo, just not in the backyard. Not at a zoo, how fun! He's making a mess. He's just like one claw on. Hey. Hey, little fella. What are you doing? Look at him, look at it. He's so cute. I'm gonna hurt you. Do you think they eat our feet? Do you feed them? doing what he loves. I mean, setting up the orchids today so that's to see if they doesn't mulch them up. Bella. The bird tamer finally got to hold the bird. Though this marks the end of our 30 day journey across America, please stay tuned because we've got plenty more adventures coming your way from Australia and we'll even take a look back at some of our favorite places in the US. So remember to subscribe and we'll see you next week.